Ball Alley, the show that thinks political correctness sucks the big one. Now, here's your host, often implicated, never convicted, Wade McElwain. Welcome, 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 and greetings to our most beloved train wreck of entertainment, Gutter Ball Alley, folks. Three people will be bowling tonight for up to $1,800. I'm Wade McElwain, and these precious kittens are the pinup girls. We've got some groovy DJ tunes, and ladies and gentlemen, Madame and Monsieur, a man who's scared of his own shadow in both official languages, Johnny Guardhouse. Johnny! Hey, Wade, dig this. We're gonna start with a, a delectable dare. Yeah, okay. Um, but before we do that, let me meet our, our, our first dare contestant. This is my good friend, Deborah. How are you, Deborah? I'm excellent. Yeah, you're okay? Thanks, Johnny. No, oh, geez, yeah, you're ready to go. Now, we took you out of the audience because you said you'd do anything for money, right? Sure. Sure. Now, now she's trying to. She's wearing a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Sure. It's a party game that's sweeping the nation. This yeah. is very popular. At West. This one's called the Prairie Oyster Dunk. Huh? You're gonna be bobbing for bull testicles. That's right. Aren't they lovely? Can we get a shot of those? Oh, they're pretty. Pretty. Oh. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna pop these into our lovely tray of milk. It's a tub of milk. The bob testicles. We'll go in there, oh yeah. Now tell what you're gonna do. You're gonna drop down there, you're gonna start bobbing for testicles. Now, for each testicle you get out and put in that ball, I'll give you five bucks. Five bucks? How about 10, I'll give you, I'll opt into 10. Does that make it more up? 10 bucks. I think it's 50. No, let's go 10, 10 bucks testicle. What do you say, folks, huh? That's right, come on, folks, it's hard. They do this in Alberta for free. All right, let's hear it for Deborah, right? 10 bucks. You have 30 seconds to do it, Deba. Ready? Go! 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 All right. Go! 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 Imagine later. How did you get the money back, Deba? How did you do that? Oh God! There's one. Oh God! There's two. Oh God! There's three. Oh God! Oh God! Four, three, two, one! Oh, that's it, Deborah! Oh! 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 Oh God! There's one, two, three, four! And I'll throw in another 20 bucks for you. How about that? Get up for Deborah, folks! Let's go away with our first contestant. Oh, after seeing Johnny and a girl and a mouthful of testicles, we're here for our first game. Sumo Warrior! As you can see, our first contestant, Jenny, is already in her game gear. Uh, she's a sumo about to face our toughest challenger. And what's your name? Derek. Derek? Do you think you can beat him, Jenny? I always do. I take it you two know each other. Just a little. All right, you got to stay standing in the ring uh, for 20 seconds against him. Now, if you can knock him down, you win a bowling ball. After 20 seconds, we're gonna bring out another challenger. You then have to see if you can knock them down. All right. After another 20 seconds, we bring out another challenger. You must fend off as many of these ninjas as you can, all right? So are we ready? They're right. tougher than they look. Let's get Jenny started. On your mark, get set, go! Yes! Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, 20 seconds, so. Oh! oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. All right. Yeah, Keep going, oh, you, you got it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right! That's one ball! It's like feeding frenzy at the Weight Watchers buffet. Let's get you up here. All right, thanks a lot. You're out of here. Now, Jenny, good one, you won one ball. 
All right. Are you ready for your next challenger? Bring him on. All right, let's bring out the next challenger out here. Woo! Oh my God, it's Johnny Guardhouse. Woo! He's not in a sumo suit. But I'm, he not, I'm not going to wear the suit. I have to wear the suit. <laughs> yeah, but John, you should see the way Johnny fights. So ready? Let's start the clock at 20 seconds. Ready, Jenny? I'm ready. Go! Woo! Oh, God, it hurts! Oh. oh, my God, Johnny's doing the Macarena again. Oh, come on. Let's not take it that way, Johnny. I'm helping her up. <laughs> All right. All right, now we got one more challenger for you. You ready? Nope. <laughs> you better be, because he's a freaky man child. Start the clock. Let's get you out of this suit, hey! Hey, hey! hey! How do we get the suit off? Oh, we'll be right back uh, to have her bowl after these uh, messages. Hey there, kids, it's Crazy Jimmy from Crazy Jimmy's Electronics Superstar. Oh, yeah! You know something, kids? Crazy Jimmy's getting awful sick and tired of the competition claiming to be crazy, and there's only one place to get truly insane nails. Oh, yeah! I ain't right in the head. I'm crazy. Come on down this weekend where we're having the craziest sale ever. We got a deluxe complete home entertainment system. Oh, yeah, we're talking 34-inch high-definition digital television set. woo -ha! How about you pay for something like that? Maybe $17.99? Not a chance. Some of my competitors, they claim to slash prices, but I'm the one crazy enough to slash myself. How much you pay? $900? Uh, not even close. I was $7.99. No way, we're giving it all away for $399. Because I am crazy. <laughs> Located just north of the city on Highway 5 across from Sharp and Pointy Playland. So come on down, we're open 24 hours a day. Because I can't tell the difference between night and day. Because I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. All right. We are back with Jenny. Jenny has won three balls to which to bowl with. Uh, so you can win up to $1,800 with that Woo! money. Uh, re remember, Jenny, every pin is worth $50. You get a strike, we'll toss in an extra 100 bucks. Uh, but if it goes in the gutter, Wade? You get nothing. Absolutely. All right, you ready to go? Oh, I can't be any more ready than this. All right, Jenny, uh, good let's attitude. Let's go. Bowl! Oh. Nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one! Yeah! That's seven. That's $350, Jenny. Absolutely. Oh, gotta remember, a gutter means nada. So keep going with it. You got focus, something planned for this focus. money? Go back in my bank. <laughs> All right, good for you. Pay the banks. All the way from Brockville, the bowling kid. It's all right. Oh. oh, you still knocked down three, another 150. $500 now. Better than what I came with. <laughs> Last ball. Oh, come on. Go ahead. Let's head over to our next game, Sink or Float. Come on, let's get on. Ryan, from the objects placed and arranged in front of you, you have to choose which three you think will either sink or float. You know how it goes, basically? I get that. So we idea. choose which one, and you say, I think this is going to sink, or I think this is going to float. Okay? So let's start okay. off. Which object do you want to choose first? <laughs> there's a ducky, buddy. there's a pie, there's a piece of wood, a keyboard, and some slippers. Okay, I'll buddy. pick the duck. The duck? And what do you think? I think he'll sink. You think it'll sink? Yeah. Put the duck in. Let's see what he does. Come on, ducky, float, ducky. Oh, yeah, yeah, you win one ball. Yeah. Oh, bravo. Pull 
pull the duck out? Let's go. I, how did you uh, deduce the that the duck would sink? How did I deduce that the duck would sink? It just looked like it would sink. It doesn't look very floatable. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, that's wow. good enough for me. All right, choose another one. I'm going to pick the bunny slippers, and I'm going to say that they're going to float. The bunny slippers will float. Yeah. Pretty bunny. They do float. That's two balls. Yeah. You're on a roll, Brian. You're on a roll. Two Pull them out. You got bunnies. one more. There's the pie, the wood, or the keyboard. What do you guys think I should go for, man? The wood. Wood, keyboard, or the pie. Which one, Brian? I'm going to go for the... The keyboard. And what do you think? I'm going to say... The keyboard will sink. The keyboard will sink. Keyboard sinks. That's three balls. Yeah. Let's Mix. head it over to the lane. Another uh, three ball was, winner. Now you know how it goes, right, my friend? For every ball, for every pin you get, for every pin you get, it's 50 bucks. Okay. All right? Uh, for every strike you get, we're going to throw in another 100 bucks. Okay. You heard that before. If it goes in the gutter, Brian, the gutter means nothing. 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 Nada, okay? Okay. Pick no your one balls. laugh at my uh, bowling ability. We reserve the right to laugh. All right, Brian. Brian Ball has three one. balls. Here we go. That's what we like to see. No, no, be happy, That's Fox. All right. You didn't have anything to start with. You're warming up, Brian. That's right, Brian. Ball number two. In the gutter. Let me talk to you for a second, Brian. Let me talk to you for a second. Uh, you have two balls yeah. that you just put in the gutter. Yeah. You gotta feel like quite a bit of a loser right now in front of everyone right now, right? Or, 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 so I need some more time to redeem yourself, right? Not you wanna the show movie. these people, hey, I'm Brian Middleton. I'm a good guy. <laughs> I can win some money. I can, from, I can win some money. Not from here, Brian. Bull from here. Bull from Johnny's right balls. That's right. <laughs> Let's go, Brian. <laughs> Let's hear it, let's hear it for Brian. There we go, buddy. There we go. All right. You knocked down four. That's 200 bucks, Brian. Way to go, man. Way to go. More cash, prizes, and hilarity. On GBA. We'll see you soon right after this message. What happens when a misplaced young lady from a bygone era finds herself transported to the fast-paced world of modern Urbania? Steffi, are you sure such attire is appropriate for a lady? I mean, it doesn't leave much to the imagination of a gentleman. What I'm saying is, it isn't very chaste. Fuck, sister. God, nowadays a lady dresses like this to get attention. Besides, being chaste turns me on. Enough, girlfriend. Feel the love. It's in you. God. Try this, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Loosen up, girlfriend. Woo! I feel the need for speed. Woo! And of ecstasy. Coming this fall to CBBC. Welcome our third and final contestant, Dora. How you doing, Doran? Dora, sorry. Yeah, are you ready to play? Johnny, why don't you tell her uh, what game we're going to play? <laughs> yeah, I knew you were going to throw that out yeah. to me. Wait I now. would like that. Oh, yes. yes, I'm sure you'd like me to tell you, and that's why Wade's not telling you. It's called Boogie Match. <laughs> we're going to show you, Dora, four quick pornographic clips from my own personal collection. <laughs> please, please don't look directly at me, Dora, when I tell you this. Your job is to find out what they'd say next. Don't worry, it's a multiple choice, okay? Every correct response earns you a ball. I don't know about you, but I watch these, the dialogue and the money shot. So let's play. <laughs> Clip number one. Well, let's just start with the biggest issue in your life right now. What does that seem to be? Will she say A, world peace, <laughs> B, my roommate Carissa, or C, I want to get laid. Which one do you think she'll say, Dora? Dora says C. Let's play the clip. 
My roommate, Carissa. Oh, oh, it's me. Okay. I've seen this film, and uh, it, her roommate is a lot to think about. <laughs> All right, we're going to start the next one. I mean, ever since she started, you know, living with me, I've been... Will she say, A, dreaming of you every night, B, kind of attracted to you, or C, using all the butter? What do you think, Dora? Kind of attracted to you. Kind of attracted to you, B? Let's roll the clip. Kind of, I don't know, attracted to you. B, you win them all, Dora, all right. Hey, hey Dora, you ever seen strawberries like that before? <laughs> All right, Dora, you're doing well in the porn, all right? Let's, let's play the third clip. I get so tired of listening to everybody's problems. Will she say, A, my problem is I'm always horny. <laughs> B, I should be a shrink or something. Or C, my last client thinks she's a lesbian. <laughs> what do you think? B. B. She said B. My last client thinks she's a lesbian. Oh, it was C. Dora, there's something you don't see every day on Price is Right, huh? Right. Dora, if you like some uh, of these pornos on tape, we can give them to you. Let's get you up to the bowling lane. You've got one ball. Remember, now, every pin you hit, we've said this before, but I'll tell you again, every pin is worth $50. You get a strike, we'll throw in an extra 100 bucks. But Dora, if it goes into the gutter, you lose everything. Oh. I feel so dirty. All right, Dora, let's oh. go. That looks good, Dora. That looks good. Come on. Go, 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 go. Oh! Oh, my dear, that's fabulous. Thank you so much for playing. Dora, with us, huh? here's some tickets to famous players. Go see a movie oh. with your husband. How's that, Dora? Thank you very much for playing. A real movie, not one of those smutty ones. Stay tuned, because we have more mayhem and mirth here on Gutterball Alley. Right after this. Stick around. In the 1990s, a Canadian filmmaker attempted to try and find that perfect harmony between man and beast by constructing an unbreakable suit of armor and living with bears. Unfortunately for him, while the suit was proven unstoppable to bears, he was unable to find any. Keeping with that theme, we here at Gutterball Alley wish to continue that project in our own ability, hoping that we too might be able to learn from nature by living with nature. So, for this week's show, I will live with the animals. <laughs> Of course, there's no way in hell you can catch me live with bears. Come on. So I've decided to live with the bears of the city. The squirrel. There's one. What we soon found out was that the suit alone kind of freaked out the squirrels. What had been an attempt to awe the squirrels with my godlike stature, preened fur, and impeccable manners had literally scared the shit out of them. We were at a loss. It was back to the drawing board. But finally, a breakthrough. Frustrated with our efforts to be like the squirrels, we decided to appeal to the squirrels' sense of good taste. You can't do that, man. It defeats the whole purpose of the experiment. It's supposed to be about the science. Now you're just gonna end up poisoning with the glue on the peanuts. I, I won't stand for it, I won't stand for it. <laughs> Sure, the end result wasn't what we originally had planned. I never did get to live with that family of squirrels or learn to be accepted as a fellow park rat. But I did learn a valuable lesson about nature, about the fragile balance between man and rodent, and most importantly, rabies shots. I'm standing here with Jenny, today's champion. Now, I had said that you had knocked down $800 worth of pins. Turns out there's one we didn't see. There's $850 here. So, now, this is my favorite part of the show. You can either keep 
this $850 or trade it what's behind these four doors. Remember, there are plenty of prizes back there. Stone Ridge Shoes shopping spree, Palladium power parties, famous players tickets, and our grand prize, which is a pair of club seats to the summer concert lineup at the Molson Amphitheater. It's a biggie. It's worth a lot more than this cash I've got in my hands. So now's your chance. Like, do you have plans for this if you were to use it? Going in the bank. It's going in the bank. See those people? They're. <laughs> I don't like banks. Um, anyway, so uh, what do you want? Do you want the cash? The doors, the concert tickets. Or the doors? No doors? The doors! The doors! For coincidence sake, just for the sake of it all, which one would you have chosen? I would have went with number three. Number three? What uh, was behind there? Oh, you were supposed to win a Nintendo prize package, including Fantastic Series Nintendo 64 and a copy of Conker's Bad Fur Day, Get In or Get Out. That would have been fun before dinner and drinks at Al Frisco's Restaurant in downtown Toronto at the corner of Richmond and John. Mediterranean fare with Californian flair. Nintendo and a night out at restaurant. I really suck at Nintendo. All right, well, you can buy whatever the hell you want. Here's your $850, huh? Another hand. Way to go, Jenny. Best of luck and uh, good bowling to you. It's time for our last dare. I believe it's the one we've all done in a saloon pub or seen on television. Let's head over to Johnny. That's the right way. Tonight on this stage, two courageous audience members will battle to see who can eat the most pickled eggs. Whoa. For the victor, 50 bucks. And for the loser, well, so what? You do this at the Legion Saturdays anyway. So come on. Right. The, the most you can eat, 30 seconds, 50 bucks. If you eat the whole thing, I'll give you an extra 20. All right? You guys ready to go? Go! 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 Dig, dig, dig! Fast you can. Fast you can. Come on, you can fit lots of eggs in there. Oh, there's chunk egg everywhere. Wow, chunky. Woo! That's a piece of all the Look at that. But, uh, Look at what, you no, get 50 no, no, bucks, so I'll tell you me. what. That's all right, thanks. How wow. about a hand for... Oh, oh, God! Jeez, I think we no get way. money back for those we, yeah, ones. I think that's it. Oh, there you go, Keith. No, I'm all right, thanks. Uh, all right. No, thank you. That's, uh, that's oh, it yeah. for Gutterball Alley. Uh, it certainly was a fun-filled, <laughs> egg-eating affair. If you want some more, join us next week. Oh. Say yeah. good night, Johnny. Good night, Johnny. Have a good one. Thanks a lot, oh. folks. Oh, sweet God.